In this tutorial I'm going to talk about recolouring objects on your page. Now there's probably a couple of main ways you can do this. The first one being is that you can just apply a very simple tint. So if I was to select this object, I can then tint this object to any colour I wish just by clicking on a colour in the colour tab. And you can see that as I select any colour here, it automatically tints the whole object to be that colour. Now that's fine and it does the job in certain applications. But let's say that I didn't want to apply that tint to the whole object and just wanted to change certain areas of this butterfly to be different colours. If I just delete that and bring on another copy of it. Now actually what I want to try and do here is make the outside of this wing where it's blue at the moment, I want to make that yellow. And the inside of this wing where it's red, I want to make that purple. And I can actually achieve that using photo adjustments. So if I click on it and then select photo adjustments from the context toolbar, that then opens up the photo adjustments window. Now the first thing I want to do is add an adjustment on here. So I'll click on there. As you can see, there's lots of different adjustments and effects you can apply. But for this example, I'm gonna choose hue, saturation, lightness. Now, first of all, I'll explain what these sliders do. Q actually shifts the color spectrum that the object is using. And you'll be able to see when you slide this around that the color spectrum is being shifted. Saturation actually adjusts the amount of color on the object. So if you take that right up to the top, you can see it becomes really bright and vivid. And if you knock it all the way back down to nothing, you can see it goes to black and white. And finally, lightness, as you'd expect, just adjusts how light or dark the colors are. Now you would have noticed as I was making those changes that I was actually changing all aspects of the butterfly. Now, as I mentioned, I just want to change this blue area around the edge of the wings to be yellow and the inside section to be purple. So the first thing I want to do is adjust the outside of the wings. And the way that I can adjust this in isolation is by from this drop down menu here, selecting blues. And what this means now is that any adjustments I make to here is only going to affect any blue colors that are on here, which is obviously the outside of these wings. So now when I adjust it, you can see nothing else is being changed other than the blue areas on the edge of the wing. So I want to make that yellow, I'll drag that towards the top. And now I want to adjust the inside of the wings. So from the drop down menu, I'm going to choose reds. And again, by adjusting the hue, I can make that purple. Okay, I'm fairly happy with that. So once I'm done, I just need to click OK. And I can now use this object in my work.